Whether you love or hate Word, one fact remains, it costs money, and that means that in my mind, it sucks. So instead of making Bill Gates richer, I'm going to introduce you to the best free alternatives to Microsoft Word. Now, if you're already exploding at the concept of writing for free, click the like button, the subscribe button, and go to the link that looks most appealing to you down below in the description once we've gone through these five alternatives. So the first alternative that we've got is Google Docs. Now this is the most popular alternative to Microsoft Word and as an added bonus, you don't have to install a thing. Because of this, you can use Google Docs on pretty much any device that you'd expect it to work on, including but not limited to Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android, and many more. Yes, it does come from another huge tech company, that being Google, but guess what? It's completely free and all you need is a Google account. And if you're already on YouTube, that means you probably got one. So go to docs.google.com, link down below and start typing away as you wanted to. The second option that we've got is Apache Open Office Writer. Now, this is actually a part of a full open office suite. It's completely open source, free to download, and it's available on Windows, Linux, OS X, and there's plenty of mobile alternatives too, if that's what you're looking for. You can go to the iOS App Store, the Android Google Play App Store, and download the apps there. So Writer is actually a Word style program within the suite. It functions exactly as Word functions, allowing you to print, save, open, format, and do what word processing software generally does. There are regular updates with the software being well maintained by a community of open source developers. Number three is Office Online. So if you want to stay true to Microsoft, but keep your wallet closed, you can actually use Microsoft's Word through the web browser. It has the majority of functions that normal Microsoft Word has, and it perfectly resembles the software as if you had the full product. But of course you do need an internet connection, but because of this and it going through the web browser, that means you can use it on all platforms and devices because it's browser based. This is the closest thing you'll get to the actual Microsoft Word package, so if you're a diehard fan, then this is the next best option. And number four is Etherpad. Now this is a slightly lesser known product, but it has some really beautiful aesthetics. Etherpad is an open source project, downloadable and simple to use. It's similar to Google Docs in that you can do real time collaboration with other people and it has some expertly crafted minimal tools that are super powerful. I also love that it's fully customizable as well, allowing you to switch between, for example, the light and dark mode, saving your report from burning into your retinas when it's late. It's available on both Windows and Linux and is free to download. And last but not least, we've got WPS Office. Now this is another full suite of Office products, which of course has the word processing utility included in it. It's completely free, regularly updated, has a simplistic full interface with all the features that you need and it even extends to allow PDF editing. You can comment on PDFs, convert, compress and sign them and if you're looking for customizability it's also got multiple skins so you can theme the front end to your liking. Unfortunately it's also available on all major platforms Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android and it even has a web-based editor so if anything wasn't included in there uh, which might be hard to come by you'll be able to use it through the web browser on that platform. It's also being used currently by 600 million users globally so feel free to join that herd it's a pretty good piece of software. And there we have it, the five alternatives to Microsoft Word. So we covered Google Docs, Apache Open Office, Microsoft Office Online, Etherpad, and WPS Office. I'm really interested to hear about which ones you prefer and why. If you've got any more suggestions to, please let us know so the other people in the community can get a hold of that piece of software. And remember to hit the like and subscribe, and I hope you found what you were looking for. Goodbye.